Yes. So, put, take this off and put it on. So yes, will you help? Yes, will you help? Can do that if you yes. like. It's not me that's lighting the candles. I know. But, I know. Yes. Uh, she was, she was yep. Yes, that would be awesome if you could do that. Okay. But I hope I hope we don't have a lighting issue here. We'll see. Did you try one? You could try it. Give it a shot. Yes. I'll put it on here. It, it works. Okay. That one here is a spirit because she has trouble with that breeze that has all of a sudden decided to come up. Yeah, yeah no, just to blow out just... our candles. Yeah, I've been here previous Shabbatot to see them. I know, <laughs> I know. Like, just well, this is good. Well, well Mitch um, is going to do an assist. Sometimes so he the, will... the candles are too, the tall ones, and then the, the flame is right here, and it's yeah. not quite. Yeah, this, this is perfect. This should be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Getting him lit is going to be the issue, and Mitch yeah. is going to give an oh. assist. I'm going to give an assist. I'm going to be the uh, the cover. Oh, well, that's the thing. You know, some people would stand there. It's like as soon as you light it, you got to get it back down. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. As soon as we light it, we're going to okay, cover. Okay, it's time to start. Okay, I can do that. Okay. You want to do that? All right. I'll be, I'll do that. Okay, but yeah, be ready to get it on real fast. Okay, you're going to start with the song. Oh, because we're at, we're in time. Know. We are in time. You know. That's what I was. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. We welcome you. The rabbi is not available, of course, this Shabbat, um, but this is Trish Monroe, and I'm Beth Wilson. I think we all know all of you here, but we certainly want to welcome everybody. And we begin with the song, Hine Matov, how good it is for people to dwell together, just to be together, and it certainly is. Hine Matov Umanahim Shevrachim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Umanahim Shevrachim Gam Yachad Hine Matov Umanahim Welcome to the, those of you watching on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, I believe you can find the prayer book, the virtual prayer book, if you go to the Beth Emick uh, live service website and click on Mishkat Fila in the, in the sidebar. Um, and now I would like to invite up uh, Barbara Lazinski to light our Shabbat candles. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Do the right one first? Please. Okay. Okay, is that right? I, I don't, don't know. know. I will hold this mm -hmm. really fast. It may be tough. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Would you like some help? I, I could sometimes get out. Oh. Yeah, can you start? Sure. Here, let me see if a little one works. Okay. There you go. Thank you. All right, here we go. That was exciting. You didn't want to ask me to do this, that's for sure. I think that was a mutual thing. Now that we got all nice and peaceful. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanded, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Thank you. <laughs> so for those of you not here in person, um, we had just a little, we had, it's quite windy out here on the courtyard. Um, so we have uh, guards for the candles. We had a little, um, altercation with the guards. <laughs> we continue on page eight. I begin with a prayer of gratitude for all that is holy in my life. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew, no semantics and no services, but I need them. Through prayer, I can sense my inner strength, my inner purpose, my inner joy, my capacity to love. As I reach upward in prayer, I sense these qualities in my Creator. To love God is to love each other. To work to make our lives better. To love God is to love the world God created and work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy that illumine all of us and to bring that vision to life. And we sing Ki Eshmara Shabbat. And I don't, is that in your, uh, yes, it's on page 11, great. Ki eshmer ha-shabbat, el yishmareni. Ki eshmer ha-shabbat, el yishmareni. Continue with the Hatzikadosh. Uh, you may have noticed that Beth is leading anything sun, and I'm leading anything red. So I'm going to turn it back over to Beth. <laughs> and that can be found. The uh, Hatzikadosh can be found on page 26. Yit gadal ve'yit kadash shemei raba Amen. Ve'alma divarach irute ve'am lich malchute. Bechayeh Eat barah, 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 eat Amen. Who at a 
seated and at the uh, uh, page one uh, page 31 um, the next prayer there's two blessings before the Shema the first blessing is one about the changing of the light in the evening it's one about the coming of the evening in the morning it's one about the coming of the morning it's an hour of change and so this was this is about that this is an hour of change within it we stand uncertain on the border of light Shall we draw back or cross over? Where shall our hearts turn? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? This is the hour of change, and within it, we stand quietly on the border of light. What lies before us? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? Baruch atah Adonai, hama'ariv aravim. And we continue with Ahavat Olam on the next page. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amcha Ahavta, Amcha Ahavta, Torah Umitzvah, who came mishpatim? Otanu limadita, Otanu limadita. Akin Adonai Eloheinu v'shoch beinu uvkumenu nasiach b'chukecha v'nismach v'divrei Torah. Shartam le od al yadecha, vehayil totafot beneinecha, uchtavtam al mezuzot beitecha uvisharecha, leman tiskeru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai, bitem kadoshim leloheichem, ani. Adonai, Elohei 
Bethlehem. Asher hotzeti et hem, eres mitzrayim, liot lachem lelohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Page 39. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there's a better place, a promised land, and that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, and that there is no way to get from here to there, except by joining hands, marching together. We join in Micha Mocha on page 40. Mi kamocha ba eli makonai. Mi kamocha ne dar ba kodesh. No rata hilot. O se fele, o se fele. Page. Oh, we continue. Oh, we continue on with Hashki Venu. Yes, we do. Which can be found on page 42. And we join together, of course, in that. Uh, by the way, I love hearing your voices singing together. It's so wonderful after. <laughs> after so. After so long, yes. Yes, yes. And from up here to hear everybody yes. coming at us is great. So sing out, please. Continue. It's wonderful. Hashki venu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, l'shalom. Ve'hamideinu malkeinu l'chaim. Ufros aleinu sukkot shlomecha. Ufros aleinu sukkot shlomecha. from all harmful things, O Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light. Teach us God wrong from right. Amen. on page 45. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite moments from, uh, one of poems from, I believe it's uh, Yehuda Amachai. A thought has blown the marketplace away. There's a song on the wind, joy in the trees. Shabbat arrives in the world, scattering a song in the silence of the night. Eternity utters a day. That last line, eternity utters the day, speaks to what the, na the notion of Shabbat can be. And we continue on page 46. Please rise. Adonai safatai tiftahu fi agitahi latecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu, 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 Abraham, Eloheinu, Yitzchak, Eloheinu, Akov, Eloheinu, Sarah, Eloheinu, Rivka, Eloheinu, Rachel, Eloheinu, Leah, Ha'el, Ha'gadol, Ha'gibor, Ha'nora, El, El, Yon, Gomel, 
حسدیم تاویم بکنه حکم و زفر حسد افوف ایمهود و میبیگ اولا لیف نبرم لما آنشما به آها با ملک و زر و مشیا و مگن باروخا تو آدونای مگن آرام و از رات سر آم آتاگی بول اولام آدونای مخایه ها کلا تبراف و هوشیا موری آتا مخالک آل خاین به حسد مخایه ها کل به رحمیم رابیم سومه نوفلیم برافه خالیم او ماتیر اسوریم او مکایه ممنون تو لیشین آفر میخام و خب آگو رود او می دوم الله ملخ می می تو مخایه او مس می آیشوا من امان تا حیات آکل باروخ تا آدونای می تاکه آکل آتا کدوش شیم خا کدوش اقدوشیم به خویامی حالو خسلا روح تا آدونای مخیل کدوش. And you may be seated. Please continue, and we'll continue on page fifty-five. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. And may all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Um, and I continue, ah, here we go. Continuing on page 57. Uh, you are with, uh, wait a minute. Aha. Ever present one, may we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God, whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch ata Adonai, she'otcha levadcha be'ira na'avod. And on page 59, God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of our soul, of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch ata Adonai, hatov simcha ulcha na'el hodot. And then on page 61, don't stop after beating the swords into plowshares. Don't stop. Go on beating. Make musical instruments out of them. Whoever wants to make war again will have to turn them into plowshares first. Again, that's you to Amachai. And we continue, we'll take a moment for silent prayer, reflect on the week, reflect on Shabbat. And uh, we'll continue in a moment. Shalom, shalom, bimrumah, hu yaase shalom aleinu, ve'akol Yisrael, ve'imru, amen, hu yaase
Shabarach on page 253. Um, and uh, so as I have my hand go by you, if you have names to say for the Mishabarach list, please say them now. I'm going to go uh, your left, my right. And I will add Shelley Friedman and John Zimmerman. Uh, we continue on page 253. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Uh, as when Beth and I uh, said we do the service together, we've done service toge this together for a, a very long time. 38 years? Maybe 37? <laughs> Many years. We won't do the counting right now because that would take us down a path we don't want to go down. Uh, Beth said, I'll do anything you want in the liturgy, but you do the derogatory. And I'm like, I'm good with that. You want me to talk? I can talk. <laughs> so here we are. Last week, Outdoor Shabbat services were canceled because it was really, really hot, excessively hot, early in the year. And this week is really lovely. It's, it's much more temperate, but there has been a slight haze in the air. There's Butte fires going, the Butte fire is going strong up north. Um, and we're anticipating a fire season that could be worse than last, yes, last year when 400 million, acre, uh, four, sorry, 4 million acres burned. Um, hold that thought. Over the past two weeks, I attended virtually uh, the Hartman Institute's Summer Symposium. It was great. It's something I've wanted to do in person for a long time. One of the benefits of COVID, of course, is that we can do things virtually that we haven't been able to do in uh, in, uh, pr prior to that. So that's, wh that's what I did. Uh, that Hartman Institute, for those who don't know, is to strengthen Jewish peoplehood, identity, and pluralism. It's to enhance the Jewish and democratic character of Israel, and it's to ensure that Judaism is a compelling force for good in the 21st century. Nothing I can't get behind. This year, the symposium's theme was Torah of Possibility for an Uncertain Future. I attended sessions on Israeli politics, anti-Semitism, the relationship between Israeli and American Jews, and climate change in Jewish thought. So you see where this might be going. 
Now, uh, that was presented by David Zvi Kalman, and Dr. Kalman is a scholar in residence at the Shalom, Shalom Hartman Institute of North America, and he leads the Kogood Research Inst uh, Center's research team on Judaism and the nat natural world. Um, and his lecture is what I'm going to try to summarize tonight. Any mistakes I've made are on my own, but I'll do my best because what he had to say was really compelling. So I'm used to thinking about climate change as a matter of action and policy. What do we need to do? What policies do we need to enact to slow, to stop, to reverse, to adapt to climate change? And the Jewish texts we're familiar with are also ones of action and policy. Um, one of the things that Dr. Kalman did is, to start with is he started with the familiar one, the, the one we're familiar with, the beginning of, of Gen the second tale of, uh, of, of the creation in Genesis, the second uh, chapter, God took the person and placed the person in the Garden of Eden to till and to till it and to tend it. The reason I'm saying person is because um, Adam is a human. Um, and then the second one that we hear is the story of Noah, and that's also one of, ac of action. Action of lawlessness that led to God's deciding to destroy the world, and all, all flesh had corrupted it, and so God was going to end the world, and Noah was going to have an ark, make an ark, take it out, and then come back and rebuild the world. All action, all action items. So Dr. Coleman began with those texts to point out that at this moment in time, they're actually not terribly helpful. They're, they are focused on action and policy, and they're about all of humanity. Both of these texts take place before Abraham. They share the theme of our responsibility, and they share the consequences of getting it wrong. Um, and with Noah, there's a sense that he's the only one who cares. And the other, there's one more piece to that, which is they're used to have a conversation about how we're going to stop climate change how we're going to avert it, but extreme temperatures, fires burning, we're already there. Climate change is happening right here and right now and really fast. So a theology that's effectively, I told you so, is not actually very helpful for going forward. And policy doesn't actually address our attitude toward that. And so Coleman asks the question of how do we get to a theology of climate change that is not policy oriented? that is not just, I told you so. Now, I'm gonna pause there for a second and ask, does anybody know what, to, as, as we are ushering in the new Jewish day, what's the, what's the day? So Liz got it right, it's Tisha B'Av, it's the ninth of Av. Now, I'll, I'll come back to that for a minute because there's a question and, uh, of when Shabbat and Tisha B'Av fall on the same day, what do you do? So hold that thought. But it turns out that if you think about the destruction of the Second Temple and what that did to Jews of that time, you have a parallel for how we can go forward and you, we can do it, think about it in a very particular Jewish way. And he said this in my mind was completely blown. So the question is, how do we look inside ourselves to come about with a radical transformation? And this is where that destruction of the Second Temple comes in. There was a process that the Jews went through as the Temple was being destroyed. First of all, it was destroyed. The Romans destroyed it, and then they kept it destroyed for at least 100 years. They dispersed the Jews. So all of a sudden, all of what Jews were used to the way that we worshiped then, the way that we structured society, it changed in not an instant, but in a few years and then over the course of time. So what happened? The first text that, that he looked at was Josephus. And Josephus, I'm not gonna, I've got some of the quotes, but I'm not gonna share them all with you. Um, he's writing as though it will come back. That's kind of where we are with climate change right now. We can just fix this, it'll come back. I don't know, four, four million acres? Maybe not. Maybe we need to be thinking in a new way. And so, how do we think about that? Now there's also questions, uh, uh, another approach, and that's crime and punishment. And so the traditional interpretation of Tisha B'Av is that it's punishment. 
you did bad, you're being punished, that's why the second temple was taken away from you. So that's part of it. But a great deal of it, a great deal of the writings had to do with how we go forward to make a new world. And when you think about what this destruction of the second temple enabled, it enabled rabbinic Judaism. It enabled a new way of looking at the world. Now, I'm not going to pretend that the destruction of the Second Temple is like climate change. But it does give us a way of thinking about going forward. It gives us a way to remember what, what was the world like. This world that children, the children are going to be inheriting. What was the world that we, those of us who are old, some of us much older, some of us are just older, what is that world that we are remembering to pass on to them for the future. How do we mourn going forward? How do we think about mourning? And what's our sense of moral responsibility going forward? So here's, here's what, what, the way to do that. So, so the rabbis begin doing this in the Babylonian uh, Talmud. They said that one who has not seen Herod's temple has never seen a beautiful building before. Well, we don't usually talk about buildings that way, but we do talk about the natural world. Muir Woods, the beauty of a, of, of a spring day when, when the uh, landscape is just perfectly fresh. We can preserve those memories and say that the world as it is, is perhaps not the world as it should be. The world we have now is not the only one. And then it's also what is the world now? That's what it was. What's it now? What does it mean to live in a world where Miami is not habitable? Habitable, sorry. And that the answer is there is a brokenness and we can't get it back. Um, we have only so much influence in the world. Again, the rabbis spoke to this. And so the lesson, the lesson that uh, Dr. Kalman had going for, uh, uh, for us going forward is that we can mourn, we can remember, and in so doing, we can look at where we can make change and how we can go forward. It doesn't mean that we don't think about responsibility. It doesn't mean that we don't think about policy. It doesn't mean we don't think about action. But the point that I hadn't thought about is you need to have the feeling first. You need to have the attitude first of what you've lost, where you are, and where you can go forward. Now, I mentioned Tisha B'Av, and, and there was a, a little gasp, like, oh my goodness, we forgot about that. So here's the thing. Um, it, it turns out that in most years, you know, Tisha B'Av doesn't, doesn't fall on Shabbat. So it's a fast day. We read Lamentations. Um, and Shabbat is sort of the opposite of that. We celebrate. We have, we have two kalot. So how do we think about this? What do, and, and, and the answer is given again by the rabbis. What do Jews do when you see a wedding procession coming down one street and a funeral procession coming down another? Who gives way to whom? Does anyone know the answer? Funeral waits for the wedding. The wedding go takes precedence. Rejoicing takes precedence over mourning. Rejoicing takes precedence over mourning. Mourning a loved one gives way to celebrating the beginning of a shared life. And so it is with Shabbat and Tisha B'Av. During a year when Tisha B'Av and Shabbat coincide, Tisha B'Av takes place beginning at Havdalah tomorrow night. And so Sunday will be the fast day. And Sunday is when we read Eka. And Sunday, is when we can also start thinking about how this world of ours can be, and its brokenness, can be mourned, can be remembered, and how we can go forward together. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I would like to ask Mitch Levinson to come forward and give all the announcements. Shabbat Shalom. I didn't have that problem. I'll just scoot back here.
<laughs> that was beautiful, Trish. Thanks. Uh, I'm Mitch Levinson, uh, Vice President of uh, Finance here at Beth Emick. Um, I'd like to thank our worship leaders, Trish Monroe and Beth Wilson, for doing a beautiful job leading our services tonight. Um, and um, I'd also like to also thank our tech menches uh, for arranging our live stream of our service. Sunday morning, Torah study will start at 9 o'clock. Please check the once around for the Zoom link on Saturday morning. Uh, our Saturday morning services are going to resume on July 31st. For those of you who have children in religious school, this week you should have received an email with details about our religious school grand opening on reopening on August 29th. Uh, religious school will resume in person, uh, and that email provides lots of important information about how that's all going to work, so please check it out. Membership renewals are now open for the fiscal year that started on July 1st, so if you have not already renewed your pledge, um, please consider doing so as soon as possible. Uh, we're looking forward to being together in person for the high holidays. Please watch the once around for more details on how that is going to um, uh, come together. Uh, the choir is looking for more voices. So if you are interested in exploring this fun and rewarding opportunity to serve the congregation during the holidays, please see Rabbi Milder soon. The first choir rehearsal is July 22nd, coming up soon. And it's great to see all of you here. Shabbat Shalom. All right, and we continue on page 282 uh, in the middle of the page for with Elenu. Um, there we go. Uh, uh, oh, and please rise. Oh, Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Apologies. Hey, we were doing Try, right. take, take two, take two. Elenu Lishabea Adon Hakol Shelo asan kagoye arad sot, velo samanu kamishpachot adama. Shelo asan kakeinu kahem, vikor aleinu kakechol hamonam. Banachnu kori, tumishtachavim umodim, lifne melech moche hamlachim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Shehu Nota Shomayim V'yosed Ha'aretz U'moshe V'yikaro B'ashamayim Ima'al U'shchina Tuzo U'shchina Tuzo B'gov He'meromim U'eloheinu E'enod E'erit Mokeinu Fesulato, kakatu betorato, v'yadato hayom v'hashivoto, elevavecha. Ki Adonai, hu ha'elohim, b'ashamayim mimah, v'al ha'aretz, v'al ha'aretz, mi. Page 291. Uh, this is a reading before the Mourner's Kaddish, uh, written by Hannah Senesh. There's stars up above, so far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself has gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. 
we turn to page 294, and I invite those observing Shloshim to, to rise now. Uh, the, those observing Shloshim from, for, for the following to rise. Thomas Lazinski, Leslie Rothberg, Michelle Daniels, Carl Pemper. And I invite those for, we are observing yard site for the following, and I invite those who are observing yard site to, to rise as well. Sarah Cohen and Emmanuel Kenny. And I invite, and, and anyone else I've missed who is not on the list. <laughs> Is there anyone else who, okay. Um, and I invite us all to rise in, uh, as one congregation. Page 294. Yikada v'yikada shmei raba, ba'alma divrach yurte v'yamlik malchute, b'chayahon uv'yomechon, uv'chaye d'cho b'yit Yisrael, ba'gala v'zman kariv imru amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivarach La Alam Ume Almaya. Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vi Paar Vi Ramam Vi Nase. Viet Hadar Viet Ale Viet Alal Shme de Kushabri Hu. La Ela Min Kol Birchata Vishirata. Tushbekata Venehemata. Daimi Ram Vi Alma Vi Mru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya. V'chayim aleinu v'yakho Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom v'imru mah. Hu ya'ase shalom. Aleinu v'yakho Yisrael v'imru amen. You may be seated. We will be concluding uh, on page 321 with a don alam uh, to a melody that Beth will have chosen. See, it's written right here. <laughs> So I don't get lost. G G A flat G. <clears throat> I don't alam a share my lach. The terem call yitzir nivra. The eight nasa the chetz a call. As I melech shemoni rave achare kiflot ha kol. Levado im loch nora. Shabbat shalom. Please, Shabbat shalom. Please come join for Mozi and Kiddush. Kiddush and Mozi. Correct order. <laughs> and um, we'll do it together. Yeah. And then a little challah in here, and I'm going to go get the other challah too. Pausing while people are getting a little cups of wine or juice. The white, I think you all know, the white is juice, the uh, red is wine. Oh, I think I, I hope I'm okay with that. <laughs> We all rise for Kiddush. Baruch Atanai Eloheinu Melech Olam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Atanai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedshanu B'Mitzvotav Beratzav Anu 
Vishabat kucho beahava uvratso yilanu zikaro lemase bereshit ki hu yom tehila lemikra ekodesh zecher litziat mitzrayim ki vanu vacharta veotan. Shabbat Koshechal Ve'ahava Uvratzon Inhaltanu Baruch Atah Adonai Mekadesh Shabbat L'chaim Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Hamotzi Lechem